will warm up very nicely tomorrow, likely getting into the low 80s, almost region-wide, but that will pose the potential for severe weather before high pressure fills on in on Thursday to our west. That will eventually slide east as we head on into Friday. So for today, we warm up quicker out west. That's because that's where the low pressure system clears out, out earliest. Most sunshine out there, mid-70s in the east central Minnesota, as well as north central Minnesota as well. But once you get further east, where we're starting out cooler, we'll stay cooler. Upper 60s to around 70 in parts of northwest Wisconsin away from that Minnesota border and then coolest along the arrowhead of Minnesota in the 50s with southerly winds keeping you much cooler than everywhere else. Then tomorrow low 80s almost region wide as we get into the warm sector of that low cooler once again along the arrowhead with winds out of the south but that warm weather will help promote a lot of instability. Today, expecting mostly non-severe thunderstorms. Isolated chance of a severe thunderstorm once you get to Washburn and Sawyer County. But tomorrow looks like a much more widespread event. Marginal risk across the entirety of the region. A 1 out of 5 from the Storm Prediction Center. And then a slight risk 2 out of 5 into the Twin Ports down the I-35 corridor in East Central Minnesota and almost all of Northwest Wisconsin. So situation at hand, the rain continues to slide east throughout this morning. And that slides to our south and east later on today. By midday, we're clearing on out, some sunshine comes on out, then we'll end up seeing that potential for some isolated thunderstorms. And like I said, potentially a severe thunderstorm, though it is fairly unlikely once you get into the Twin Ports and points north. Then on Wednesday, we're tracking that potential for the more widespread severe sun thunderstorm threat. Sunny skies by 3 o'clock helps promote that instability. We end up seeing some strong thunderstorms develop. How north they extend is still the question, but looks like there will be some areas that end up seeing some very large hail as well as gusty winds. We could see hail up to 2 inches in diameter. That's the main threat going into tomorrow. Strong winds also potential and can't rule out a low end chance of a tornado either. So keeping an eye on this likely a first alert weather day as we head on into Wednesday. But for today, 69 degrees. We'll see that chance of showers this morning. And then on Thursday, Friday, clearing on out 77 Thursday, 73 on Friday.